is KTSM 9 News at 5. Doctors who have been treating migrants released from federal custody say they are concerned with the migrants' health. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. A group of medical professionals gathered for a news conference earlier this morning. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo was there. She is live in downtown El Paso. Four pediatricians who have been treating families here at the Annunciation House and other hospitality centers are hoping to be allowed access to Border Patrol facilities like they once were. My biggest beef has been us not being allowed into the facilities. Doctors say in 2014 they were allowed into Border Patrol facilities to treat migrants. It was a very uh, collaborative and cooperative process. The families who these doctors are treating have been released by ICE and Border Patrol. The doctors are sharing what migrants have been telling them about the health care provided while in detention. They say some of the migrants who need health care don't ask for help while in detention. And, and some of the, the parents are, are scared to tell the, the individuals who work there that their child has a fever, that is throwing up, that looks dehydrated. Dr. Carlos Gutierrez, one of the pediatricians, says children need care by someone who's trained. A child can run and play even with 105 fever, and all of a sudden it hits, and within an hour or two, they're deathly ill. And it takes a trained pediatrician to be able to detect something as subtle as those signs in, a, in an ill child. In a statement, El Paso Border Patrol says in part, we have DHS personnel and contracted medical staff at several locations throughout our sector who perform initial screenings and provide medical treatment when required. Adding that if additional medical attention is needed, they will be transported to a local hospital. Tonight at 6, what one of the doctors says about a newborn who was being held in detention with its mother. Reporting live in downtown El Paso, Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Susie. El Paso